Hi, it's Charlie Silvestri from Up Close and Acoustic. Just want to remind people that the interview with James McMurtry is up and available to listen on demand at prx.org. Now to find the show, just type into your browser, Up Close and Acoustic on PRX. The main show page will come up and you can find James McMurtry that way, the interview with him. Um, I was a little trepidatious interviewing James because um, he's kind of a laconic guy and uh, I'm, I am not. Uh, I was worried about how it was going to turn out. Fortunately, uh, the, all the feedback I've been getting in this episode, I have to say, is I've gotten the most feedback I've ever gotten for an interview since I started the show. And it's been really cool. Unfortunately, when I was recording, I didn't get video to tease the show like I often do with uh, Zoom interviews. And I didn't know exactly how I was going to go about teasing the show. You know, I, I've posted reminders and said, hey, check this out. But, you know, as far as... Uh, Something cool, something neat to just, you know, try to steer you in that direction. I wanted to play something. So I went back into my catalog and I pulled some audio. It's production audio that I did in 2007. So we're going way back. We're going way back before Up Close and Acoustic. We're going before Soundstage, the first show I developed about music. Um, for this tiny little station in Westchester, Pennsylvania. After the show, James was at the bar of the North Star Bar. That's where I went to see him. That place no longer exists. I missed the North Star Bar. Saw a lot of great shows there, and James was one of them. After the show, I met him at the bar, had a beer with him, just said hello and, you know, thanks for a great show. And I asked him a favor, and I wanted a station ID from him for this little tiny radio station, the one that I started at in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And uh, the Westchester, Pennsylvania station was like, a, at the time, it's grown a little bit since, but at the time, it was a 250-watt AM station, and it was a daytimer. Those are more and more rare, let me tell you. Now, nowadays, uh, they have a, a repeater and they have a, a translator, an FM translator, and they're on 24 hours. And, and I haven't worked there for a long, long time, since like 2014. But I did get some really cool audio from James McMurtry from way back then. And what I'm going to do is play it for you now it's kind of cool this is what he recorded for me as a station id way back in 2007 at the north star bar let's enjoy hi this is james mcmurtry and i'm running for president and you're listening to wche 1520 on your am dial westchester where the static is Now, I tacked on some music as a music bed for that little piece of audio, and it was great. I would play it during the morning show when I started at WCHE. I was uh, a sidekick to the morning man. Um, I always say I was the Fred Norris to Randy Dasher's Howard Stern. That was a great show. It was a great show. We made a lot of friends and especially enemies for being uh, that kind of show in a upscale community on the main line at the sort of at the end of the main line in the suburbs of Philadelphia. It is definitely not what you would expect to hear on the air broadcasting in that area. And uh, I think it was very cool that uh, I got a James McMurtry station ID. I'd play it whenever I got the chance. 
And uh, after that, we got a lot of station IDs just... I, in fact, one of the first station IDs I got, the thing that got me hired at uh, little old WCHE, I think, was uh, getting a Jethro Tull station ID. It was amazing. Um, so that was the James McMurtry station ID. And uh, again, please, please check out the interview. It's really good with James McMurtry on Up Close and Acoustic. Again, you can find that at prx.org. Again, type into your browser, up close and acoustic on PRX, and uh, give it a listen. And then let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, I've been getting some really good feedback about it. Even if you're not familiar with James or his work, I think once you listen to the show, which in which I include a lot of music, um, you will get a feel for, for what he's about. Uh, he explains what's he what he's about uh, multiple times, no matter how much I, I want him to try to admit to, to being a really good social critic and social commentator. It's really about the music, especially for him. And a lot of his music is uh, basically short stories in, in music form. And you got to check it out to understand. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little clip. One of my earliest uh, pieces of production work. And uh, until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Please listen to Up Close and Acoustic. Tell your friends if you work for a PBS station or any kind of public radio station that's looking for content, Up Close and Acoustic is a good show. As the creator, I highly recommend it. And until next time, remember, I love you all. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.